Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details with a specific review video on one of my new favourite products which is Swissvac Seal Feed Fluid. This video was filmed quite a few months back so you may notice a few differences with how the car is locking and also the length of the beard. The rubber seals on the Focus RS are good in their condition but they do lack a bit of colour due to 10 years of being on the vehicle. Like I've mentioned before, the Focus hasn't been previously owned by detailing enthusiasts going from the lack of detail cleaning that's been done prior to my ownership. I would definitely say that treating the rubber seals is an advanced detailing task that I bet most of you haven't done before. There are a few different products available for treating these areas and from the top of my memory, Autoglim Vinyl and Rubber Care, Chemical Boys VRP Dressing, 303 Rubber Seal Protectant, Meguiar's Mirror Bright Rubber and Vinyl Treatment and Sonax Rubber Care. The cream of the crop without a shadow of a doubt would be the Swissfax Seal Feed Fluid and at £55 for a 250ml bottle you'd have to be dedicated to detailing to get your wallet out. There are cheap alternatives on the market so feel free to do your own research. Swissfax Seal Feed Fluid is specially formulated to apply to the rubber materials on your vehicle. Many products are available for use on rubber, plastic and vinyl, however Swissfax have recognised that rubber does have particular properties that require a unique product to keep them in the best possible condition. Seal Feed Fluid will keep seals pliable like new and prevent cracking from freezing in winter. The product will rejuvenate old and hardened seals to a brilliant condition. Clean the vehicle as normal, carry out whatever other detailing stages to suit your requirements and then treating the seals should be one of the last stages. Use the product sparingly due to how expensive it is and you can apply it using a narrow detail brush like I'm doing, or some sort of foam applicator. Try to keep your work nice and neat and try to avoid getting the product on the paintwork. It isn't an issue removing the excess product from the paintwork or other hard surfaces, in fact it does wipe off perfectly fine after a few passes. The rubber seals should be clean and fully dry before application. You can opt to give them a clean with APC first, but if you have washed the vehicle prior, I would definitely recommend blowing out the gaps and crevices to avoid the product from being watered down. This is the first application of the product that I've given to the Focus and it will be the first of two just to get the seals nicely moisturised and protected. Like I mentioned this process has more than likely never been done to the car and the seals are lacking some much needed texture and colour. All seals have been pre-cleaned prior to application, blown dry with the blower and I will now continue to dress all rubber seals on the car using only the amount of product that's required. The product is allowed to dwell on the seals for the longest amount of time possible which turned out to be 4 days in total. You certainly don't want to apply this product and then immediately remove afterwards as it really does need a decent amount of time to become absorbed into the rubber material.
gave the focus four days to allow the rubber dressing to work its magic and I then took a Sam's detailing plush microfiber towel and began to remove the excess product. Gently does it, only applying enough pressure to remove the excess and be sure to flip the towel a few times to remove all excess product. The rubber seals are certainly looking 10 times better than before they were treated and they are now feeling nice and smooth, almost slightly greasy but certainly well moisturised. Every last seal on the car was treated in the same fashion and it did make a world of difference. One of the final stages that I would like to do to the car within the detailing duties is to actually remove all of the seals from the car and then clean, polish and protect the painted chassis underneath. I will then coat the rubber seals for a second time and then fit them back to the car. When it comes to preparing a vehicle to the highest standard, no areas can be missed. By giving the vehicle a ridiculously huge detail to begin with, which is now totaling over 235 hours of labour, the car will need a few lengthy maintenance details going forwards, but with the bulk of the work being done to the best possible standard to begin with, we'll keep the car in show condition all year round. I want my own Focus RS to demonstrate what the pinnacle of car care is all about, so if you do watch each and every episode on the car, you will be able to see first hand. As always, thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, be sure to give me a follow on Facebook and Instagram, just search JP Details and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.